Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Paint and Polish Birds of a Feather collection. There are five polishes here all together. Paint and Polish gave me a 10% off coupon code for you guys that's good through the end of September, which is just Just Face 10. So I will put that down in the description box. I will link Paint and Polish down below because these are available right now and I will get into the swatches. So. Yes, it's a black background. I'll talk about that a little bit more once we get swatching. Probably not this polish because it's just one coat. The first polish is Pretty as a Peacock and this is a turquoise green and gold color shifting flaky topper in a clear base. And I am layering this over Stamped in Sand, which is also from Painted Polish. So this is a flaky topper. So it's not gonna cover completely on that first coat, but you do get a good amount of those flakies out. I think if you wanted to layer this in a few coats or even apply it with a sponge, you could probably get it to be full coverage. And good formula on this, you won't have any texture, you won't have any difficulty removing it because they are flakies and they do dry relatively flat. So that is one coat of Pretty as a Peacock. The next polish is called Fluff My Feathers and this is a purple, turquoise, and jade color shifting flaky mix in a white curly base. So on that first coat, the curly base on this one is pretty sheer, but there are still a lot of flakies there. And while it's sheer, it is pretty even. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does start to build up on that second coat, but the base is still a bit sheer, so I'm gonna add a third. Okay, black background. This is one of many changes that I have wanted to make, but so far it's the only one that hasn't failed and required me to refilm a video, this one included. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and so far I really like it. I feel like my camera responds much better to the colors and adjusts the lighting much better on its own when the background is black, which is a huge deal for me because I've always had a hard time with this camera and getting colors to show properly and lighting to adjust. And I wish I would have known that it was as easy as just making the background darker. So this one does cover completely on three coats. You can see that white base does get a bit more opaque. It still doesn't look super, super white, but that's just because of all the flakies that are in there, kind of break it up a little bit. So I don't know if you can see, there are some larger flaky pieces in here. They're not going to be difficult to remove because flakies are really light, but you might get a little bit of texture from them, not like a texture polish, not like a glitter, but just not perfectly glassy smooth. So you will want top coat for that. So that is three coats of Fluff My Feathers. So the next polish is called Perfectly Plumed, and this is described as a plum ultra hollow with jewel-toned color-shifting flakies and galaxy holographic glitter. So this one is in a jelly base, so it is a little bit sheer on that first coat. It does cover very evenly, and those flakies stand out really nicely against that base. And good formula on this one as well. I also just remembered that my swatch photos for this collection were still done with the white background. So those might look a little bit goofy when everything gets put together. So this one does start to build up on that second coat. It covers the nail line pretty well, but for my swatch photos I did do three coats and I feel like it got a little bit deeper when I did that, so I'm going to do that again here. So the color on this deepens just a little bit more with that third coat. It's going to be two or three just depending on your application. I really don't have much, if any, nail line showing with those two coats. I just wanted to get the color deeper. And this does dry fairly shiny, but you're still going to want top coat to smooth any weird shaped flakies or glitter that's in there out. So that is a three coats of Perfectly Plumed. The next polish is called Toucan Tango, and this is a bright turquoise ultra holographic full coverage micro glitter. And this is a really, really fine micro glitter. So this is in a clear base, and it is going to take a couple of coats to build up. You, this is another one that you could sponge on if you didn't want to do normal coats, but I like to show how a polish performs in normal coats for these videos. Good formula on this one as well. It is hard to get all of that glitter perfectly even, but that's not really an issue once it starts to build up. So this one does start to build up on two coats. I'm doing slightly thicker coats here just to make sure that I get as much coverage as I can once I get to the third coat or once I'm done with the third coat, rather. I had pretty good coverage here with my swatch photos after three coats, 
but if I looked very, very closely, I could still see some gaps on some nails, so it's just going to depend on your application. So this one does cover really well for me in three coats. That's after doing a slightly thicker second and third coat. You will have some resistance on removal with this one because it is glitter, but because it's such a fine glitter, it won't be quite as bad as if it was a little bit chunkier. And you will want top coat to smooth out the texture and to add some shine back. And if you can hear Cricut freaking out, I had to shut her out of this room because she keeps trying to get stuck behind my desk. So that is three coats of Toucan Tango. And the last polish is called Party Foul, and this is described as a bright violet ultra holographic full coverage micro glitter. So this one is pretty much the same polish as the last one, just in a different color. It is a little bit sheer and sparse on that first coat. And like the last one, I'm doing a fairly normal first coat and then a little bit thicker second and third just to make sure that I get as full of coverage as possible and good formula on this one as well. So this one is starting to build up on that second coat. Like I said with the last polish, you might still have some spaces where you can kind of see between the glitters, see a little bit of the nail underneath. Even after three coats, it's just going to depend on your application, but it is going to be very minor. You're really going to have to look for it. So this one does build up really well on that third coat, and you can already see some of that texture and dullness that this dries with on its own, so you will definitely want top coat for that. So that is three coats of Party Foul. So I think Perfectly Plumed is actually going to be my favorite out of this bunch, which is kind of a surprise to me. I don't usually like holographics that have flakies mixed into them. I don't know why, I just feel like I can't really pick out one element from another. They just kind of all blend together. But I really like this because the flakes that are in here are very green to blue. They do shift to purple a little bit, but it stands out really nicely against that berry holographic. So that one is my favorite. So that is the Painted Polish Birds of a Feather collection. Again, those are available right now, so we'll link that website down below, and I will also put that coupon code in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.